Welcome to the gripping world of Dragnet 1967, a television series that left an enduring mark on the crime drama genre. Boasting a straightforward yet compelling narrative, this show delved into the gritty realities of police work, capturing the essence of law enforcement in an era defined by societal shifts. As you revisit the gripping episodes, one might ponder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? The layers of Dragnet 1967 extend beyond the screen, and enthusiasts often discover intriguing details that enhance their appreciation. The ensemble cast brought life to a plethora of characters, each contributing to the series' authenticity. Out of the many roles, which one was your favorite? The characters in Dragnet 1967 were not mere caricatures, but representations of the complexities inherent in crime and justice. Reflecting on this television gem, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Dragnet 1967? Whether it's a tense moment that kept you on the edge of your seat or a character's development that resonated with you, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Immerse yourself in the world of Dragnet 1967 and share your thoughts. It's a conversation worth having. Dragnet 1967, a television series created by Jack Webb, emerged as a quintessential police procedural drama that left an enduring mark on the landscape of American television. Originating from the earlier radio show and transitioning to television in the late 1950s, Dragnet established itself as a pioneering portrayal of law enforcement. The series centered on the meticulous investigations led by Sergeant Joe Friday, portrayed by Jack Webb himself and his partner. Webb's character became an emblematic figure, known for his deadpan delivery and adherence to facts. The show's distinctive style involved a documentary-like approach, with cases drawn from real police files, providing viewers a glimpse into the nitty-gritty of police work. The straightforward narratives and emphasis on police procedures set Dragnet apart, influencing subsequent crime dramas. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable as it inspired parodies, references, and even a revival in the late 60s. Dragnet 1967 remains an iconic series, embodying the no-nonsense ethos of law enforcement on the small screen. Lieutenant Klingon, a real-life LAPD officer, left his mark on Dragnet 1967. Serving as an advisor, his influence seeped into various episodes. Interestingly, Gene Roddenberry, Louis Inapt Alum, and Star Trek creator named the iconic Trek villains Klingons after him. Behind the scenes, a subtle clue distinguished episode lengths. Friday's opening monologue signaled that a brief city description meant a short story, while a badge declaration hinted at a longer narrative. The show's adaptability kept viewers intrigued. Notably, the series evolved yearly, changing its title to match the broadcast year. This subtle tweak reflected the show's commitment to staying current and resonating with its audience. Navigating through Lapti's cases with Sergeant Joe Friday, Dragnet 1967's straightforward style and practical insights captivated audiences. Its legacy endures, a testament to its impact on crime dramas. Jack Webb, the mastermind behind the iconic TV series, had an intriguing incentive for real-life officers. He'd shell out 25 for every submitted story used in an episode plot. This unique practice not only added authenticity, but also created a direct link between the show and the gritty realities of police work. Continuity was a silent hero in Dragnet 1967. To maintain it, Friday and Gannon wore the same outfits in every episode. A subtle experiment by Harry Morgan and Jack Webb switching coats for a scene revealed the show's meticulous attention to detail. The unnoticed switch, later corrected, showcased the commitment to consistency. Unit 1K80, that's what echoed through the streets whenever Friday and Gannon hit the road. The unassuming police car became an integral part of the series, symbolizing their constant pursuit of justice. This detail, often overlooked, added a layer of authenticity to the duo's relentless crime-solving endeavors. In the world of Dragnet 1967, these behind-the-scenes nuances were the unsung heroes subtly shaping the show's DNA. From real cop stories to wardrobe experiments and the unassuming patrol car, each detail contributed to the show's undeniable impact on the crime drama genre. It wasn't just about solving cases on screen, it was about bringing the authentic essence of policing to every episode. 
Jack Webb's revival of the iconic police procedural drama in 1966 tackled the pressing issue of rising teenage drug use, notably LSD. The decision to resurrect the series reflected Webb's commitment to addressing contemporary societal concerns through the lens of law enforcement. In 1982, plans for another revival took shape, with Jack Webb intending to cast Kent McCord as Joe Friday's new partner. However, this initiative faced a setback due to Harry Morgan's commitments to MASH and its spin-off after MASH. Sadly, Webb's sudden passing in December 1982 marked the end of these ambitious plans. During the planning stages of the revival, Webb initially aimed to bring back his former co-star Ben Alexander as Officer Frank Smith. However, Alexander's contractual obligations to ABC The Felony Squad led to the selection of Harry Morgan to reprise his role as Officer Bill Gannon. These behind-the-scenes insights into the revival process shed light on the show's adaptability and its creator's dedication to addressing contemporary issues through the lens of law enforcement. The impactful legacy of Dragnet 1967 goes beyond solving cases on screen. It's a testament to its commitment to reflecting and engaging with the challenges of its time. Two notable guest stars, Virginia Gregg and Burt Holland, made their mark in 13 episodes each, holding the record for non-police roles. Meanwhile, Clark Howat and Art Gilmore stood out with the highest guest appearances, 21 and 14, respectively, portraying various police officers in different ranks. While the iconic catchphrase, Just the Facts, ma'am, is often associated with Jack Webb's Joe Friday, it was actually spoken by Stan Freeberg in a radio parody of the series. This adds a quirky layer to the show's legacy. In their crime-solving endeavors, Friday and Gannon patrolled the streets in a 1967 Ford Fairlane 4 Doctor. Sedan, adding a touch of authenticity to their on-screen pursuits. These behind-the-scenes nuances, from guest appearances to catchphrases and squad car details, showcase the depth of Dragnet 1967's impact on television. It's not just about the cases. It's about the subtle elements that made the show a classic in its own right. The origins of this TV series trace back to Jack Webb's role in the 1948 film He Walked by Night, where he borrowed with the iconic opening lines. Webb, having portrayed a crime scene investigator lab technician, seamlessly transitioned this noir influence into the creation of Dragnet 1967. The Labdee's profound appreciation for Dragnet manifested in tangible gestures. Jack Webb received a detective's badge with Friday's number, and two buildings at the police academy were named in honor of Webb's contribution, the Jack Webb Recruit Building and Mark 7. Though the Webb Building met its end in 2015 during the academy's renovation, the legacy endures. An intriguing shift occurred when the original series concluded Joe Friday, initially promoted to lieutenant, reverted to being a sergeant in the new series. Webb's rationale stemmed from a desire for authenticity, stating that few people remember that Friday was promoted toward the end of our run. The decision aimed to keep Joe Friday actively engaged in the field, maintaining the essence of the show's initial appeal. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a glimpse into the meticulous details that shaped Dragnet 1967. Webb's cinematic roots, Louis Inepti's acknowledgement, and the deliberate choice in Joe Friday's rank underscore the series' commitment to authenticity and continuity. In the realm of police procedurals, Dragnet 1967's influence is palpable, its impact enduring beyond the confines of the screen. As we bid adieu to the riveting tales of Dragnet 1967, let's take a moment to traverse the corridors of memory. This iconic TV series has been more than just a collection of episodes. It's a journey through the twists of justice, the enigma of crime, and the steadfast commitment of those who protect and serve. Did Sergeant Joe Friday and Officer Bill Gannon become your virtual partners in crime solving? Or perhaps the pulsating beats of the iconic theme still echo in the recesses of your mind, triggering a cascade of nostalgia. Whether you were captivated by the gritty realism or found solace in the camaraderie of the characters, Dragnet 1967 has undoubtedly etched itself into the fabric of entertainment history. As we wrap up this chapter, I invite you to share your musings. What resonates with you about Dragnet 1967? Are there moments that linger in your thoughts, characters that have become your allies and imagination? Hey Reflections are the soul of this shared experience, weaving a tapestry of diverse perspectives, so, let the anecdotes flow and the memories unravel. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's build a collective vault of reminiscence. 
Hey, Connection with Dragnet 1967 is a story waiting to be told, a narrative that enriches the legacy of this timeless series. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the lens of Dragnet 1967, unraveling mysteries and savoring moments of authenticity. Hey, time and interest are cherished and your stories add a unique layer to the narrative. Until our next adventure down memory lane, keep those memories alive and the discussions buzzing.